Hey Vinyl Community, how you doing? It's Bill with the Vinylverse. I have a Vinyl Grabs video here uh, of stuff that I've picked up over the last month or so. Um, but before I get to showing that stuff, um, I wanted to tell you about a new channel that I discovered about a week and a half, two weeks ago. Um, the channel name is 8 Vinyl Low, and uh, the girl's name is Emma. She's a uh, you know, very well spoken, loves Cheap Trick. It's very obvious from her setup. She's got a poster of Cheap Trick. She says that Cheap Trick is her favorite band. Um, she has two videos out so far, um, just over 30 subscribers, I think. So go check her out. Uh, give her a sub. Give her some encouragement to do more videos. And um, yeah, I just wanted to share that channel. She's she's done two really good uh, videos so far. So. Uh, just wanted to share that. Secondly, you'll see I have a new um, setup here. I got a new tripod, so I thought I'd try this angle. Um, let me know what you think if this works or not. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll stick with this. I might try some different things, but uh, for this video, this is how it's going to be. Um, okay, I have some notes over here. Since my setup's different, computers back here I can't it's not easy to look at so I'm gonna tr you might see me looking down over here um, so first is a reissue of how am I gonna do this Pink Floyd uh, obscured by clouds I just got this haven't cleaned it or listened to it yet um, this is their 1972 release uh, 2015 reissue it um, it's music from the film La Vallée. Uh, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, Obscured by the Clouds, uh, 1972, great album by them. Um, kind of overlooked because they had so many great albums in the 70s. Um, but yeah, excited to have that one. Now, um, This was a blind buy based on the recommendation of Dave over at Local Bandography. This is held in, um, held in to Alez Te Teia. Um, this was a 1975 release out of France. Um, it's very much like um, <coughs> spacey, a uh, little electronic. Um, Kraut Rock, maybe. Uh, really, really, really good. Um, Mellotron is excellent on this. I uh, really enjoy that. And um, this was a 2018 reissue on the Bureau B label. Um, yeah, really enjoy this. It sounds great. Um, yeah, it's really... Um, I don't want to compare it to Tangerine Dream, which we have playing in the background, but it's got a little bit of that. Um, I'm going to play you a sample of the first track in the wake of King Fripp, which is a obvious homage to... Robert Fripp from King Crimson. So, um, yeah, just great. Um, so check it out. Okay, let me know what you think in the comments, if uh, what you thought of that. Um, pretty, pretty good stuff. So next, um, 
picked this up. I've been collecting this band recently, 10 years after. This is a space and time. Um, this is a 1971 release on Columbia. Uh, you know, rock, psychedelic, psych rock. Um, it had their hit, I'd Love to Change the World. There's the track listing. It's the back. Um, yeah, really, really good stuff. Of course, Alvin Lee on guitar. Um, yeah, really like this one. Okay, next up. Clear Light. Um, so, this is... Um, This is, uh, you know, quite psychedelic, um, maybe a bit folky in a little, in a certain way, um, but I really, it's got some glare there, really, really enjoy this, uh, real happy to find this one. Um, this came out in 1967, um. on the tan electro label there um great album and i didn't know anybody in the band except for this guy here dallas taylor dallas taylor is a drummer and he um i guess most notably um played on crosby stills nash and young deja vu um I believe he plays drums. He played drums live with them also. Um, but this is definitely worth picking up if you come across it. And this copy is in just a tremendous shape. Really, really good um, psych rock here. Here's um, a sample of their song, Street Singer. Um, it's for song on side one. Check it out. Next, we have um, 1969 Jefferson Airplane, uh, bless its pointed little head. Um, this was their fifth studio album. Um, this is on RCA Victor. Of course, this has uh, their hit song, Somebody to Love. And also it has, um, uh, It's No Secret. Yeah, great Jefferson Airplane album here. Okay, next we have, uh, Wings. Wings Over America. Um, this is the triple live album from Wings from 1976, um, from their North American tour that year. Um... I haven't been able to listen to this one yet um, or, or clean it, uh, but I will soon. Yeah. So, was happy to get this. I've never owned this on vinyl before, so definitely happy to pick it up. 
wings over America. Okay, next, um, another Beatles related album. So George Harrison, Living in the Material World from 1973. Um, Very good album by him. Of course, it has uh, Give Me Love, Give Me Peace on Earth, and um, the title of the song, uh, Living in the Material World. Then also, uh, Sue Me, Sue You Blues. That is, uh, he wrote that about the legal troubles the Beatles had with each other. Um, yeah. So this is 1973, if I didn't mention that. Um, Living in the Material World by George Harrison. Now, a couple jazz releases. Um, so my last final grabs, you saw I picked up uh, some of the Blue Note 75th anniversary releases. Got another one. Um, this is Wayne Shorter, uh, Night Dreamer. There's a lot of glare there. Um, just tremendous album, of course, on the Blue Note label. Um, and this lineup is just incredible. So Lee Morgan on trumpet, Wayne Shorter on tenor sax, McCoy Tyner on piano, uh, Reginald Workman on bass, and... Elvin Jones on drums and this was from uh, 1964 this is the 2015 reissue um, great album uh, sounds great um, yeah these 75th anniversary Blue Note releases are definitely worth picking up for the price um, you know um I haven't had any issues with the ones that I picked up. This is um, really, really great. Happy, really happy to have this. Okay. And then last, um, really excited to have this one. Got this off of e eBay auction. Um, great price does have a corner cut but it's circle and this is the Paris concert from 1972 um, just a tremendous um, recording here with Anthony Braxton on um, it says reeds and percussion so Chick Corea on piano um, Dave Holland on bass and cello and Barry Altschul on drums, percussion. Um, just a awesome recording from 1972. Um, double album. It's kind of, uh, you know, experimental, pushing the boundaries a little bit. Maybe avant-garde would be a better way to describe it. Um, I'm going to give you a little sample of their take of the first track, uh, written by Wayne Shorter, uh, Nefertiti. Uh, so check it out. All right, everyone. Um, that's everything I have to show this, this time around. Um, hope you liked it. I'm definitely excited to have this batch of records into my collection. Um, been enjoying them you may have seen a couple of them show up on instagram or facebook um as i have listened to a bunch of them um so that's going to do it for me um again check out eight vinyl low i'll put her link down below for you to check out uh hope you like her um get her sub count up get her some uh exposure and let me know what you think of this out uh, uh, angle um, or setup. I am noticing a lot more glare this way, so I might have to tweak some things or try a different angle. 
Um, but yeah, that's going to do it. Uh, hope everyone's doing well. I um, will talk to you again soon. Everyone take care now. Bye.